And if you never go gold again, at least you would know The end of your road was chose by you and not companies Who control our remote control and how So what's up everybody, it's D Brown Shanghai here, back again with some more prelude information. Or you could just say 2K17, either one. I just recently, I just recently figured something out, you know. Um, in all my videos talking about the prelude and player types and archetypes and all of that, I was saying either playmaker or uh, shot creator. I just realized it's playmaker all the way, bro. Shot creator is overrated. I'm gonna break down why and I have the stats right in front of me. Once again, as a, one, one of my other videos said, shout out to NBA2KMyCareer.com. So if the dude who runs that site sees this, dude, thank you. We appreciate it, for real. Because I don't do free promo over here, you know what I'm saying? But anyway, let's get into the video. Okay, so what I noticed is that with Shot Creator, the max attribute is, of course, shot off dribble. With the highest attributes being, I'm looking at it right now, that's why I'm looking down. Off dribble shot mid range and off dribble shot three. We going off of, we comparing a shot creating point guard and a playmaking point guard, six three height with the same default wingspan and everything. So, so it's fair. The highest attribute you can have is a 93 off the dribble shot mid range and 93 off the dribble shot three. Those two for a playmaking point guard are 80. You can survive with an 80 shot off dribble, shot off the dribble, especially from three, because that's not like a typical shot. How many times do you shoot off the dribble from three in 2K anyway, in a typical game? Okay, so that stat is quite literally, literally, the only stat that um, play that shot creator has that's like leaps and bounds above everything else. That's it. Everything else that is above, that is higher than uh, the playmaking point guard, is at least literally like two points or three points above. For example, for a shot creating six three point guard, layup, driving layups is an 84. For that same playmaking point guard, driving layup is an 82. And with that same six three shot creating point guard, his open three point shot can only be a 70. And with the playmaking point guard, it can go to a 74. So besides shooting off the dribble, that playmaking point guard is a better scorer than the shot creating point guard. Ain't that crazy? If you're a shot creator, your your duty is to score the ball. And so that means I feel like all of his if if all of the shot creator attributes were like way better than the playmaking point guard, then that gives him the edge if you if you're a scoring player. But the thing is, your attributes as a shot creating point guard are not that high, that much higher than than a playmaking point guard. And what really makes a playmaking point guard better than a shot creating point guard is the fact that his athleticism caps out higher in every attribute. The highest you can go for that 6'3 shot creator point guard is an 89. The highest you can go with that 6'3 playmaking point guard is a 94. So he's faster and that's that's considerably faster. That's a full five points. And on top of the playmaking point guard being more athletic than a shot creator, his ball handling ability is so far ahead of the shot creating point guard that it is silly. It is absolutely silly. Your ball control as a shot creating point guard maxes out as a 79, and your ball control for that playmaking point guard maxes out at 94. And remember, I'm not we're not adjusting wingspans or anything. And even if we were adjusting wingspans, if you adjusted the wingspan of one of, of them to the same thing, the cap for the playmaking point guard would still be higher in most of the attributes. So this argument holds up. And the pass, passing vision, ball control, passing IQ, passing accuracy, all of that. It's 73 versus 94. The playmaking point guard takes it every time. So I just realized this today, and I figured I'd let you guys know before the actual game comes out, just in case this video could help somebody. You never know. Because I'm most certainly thinking about starting over because I, I really wish I would've saw this. I really wish I took the time. We did all of this arguing. Oh my God, we did so much arguing about which archetype was the best. And I was just like, fuck it, I'm going shot creator. But after seeing this, I'm almost, shut up Siri. After seeing this, I'm almost certain that I'm switching to a playmaking point guard. They literally do everything better. And the defense is exactly the same in every attribute. So yeah, looks like I'm gonna be making another player. If you a shot creator and you was like, oh, I'm gonna just be a scorer. 
you should probably change too. Maybe you just like the fact that your label is a shot creator, but there's quite literally no reason to keep shot creator. Unless you just like shooting off the dribble from three in mid-range. Besides that, you know. But I hope this video was helpful for you guys. If this video helps you out in any way or you just enjoy seeing my beautiful, <laughs> my ugly mug giving you guys tips. Oh, that is so cringe. Then uh, subscribe to the channel and drop a like. But until next time, I'm D. Brown Shanghai. And I'm up out of here.